In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Messenger Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. This is the second episode in the series entitled Discoveries and Inventions from the Noble Quran, the Last Revelation of Allah God to People. And the title of this episode is Discovering the Eroding Environment in Bone. Now, as an introduction to this episode, there is a branch of engineering called biomedical engineering, and one of its branches called biomechanics. And biomechanics is the science that studies the function and design of the human body. Like when you move, what's the engineering involved in the movement, and how Allah the Almighty designed the human body. And one very important question in biomechanics is what is the loading environment on bone? Let me demonstrate this point and explain what, what does it mean. Now, if you have a column, you can, when it's subjected to load, to forces, it can be in a state of compression, meaning the atoms coming closer to each other, or a state of tension, or bending. So any kind of uh, structure can be loaded in compression, bending, or tension. Now, the question, you, the skeletal system, your bones, when they are subjected to forces, are they in a state of compression, tension, or bending? Now, what's the importance of, answer, of answering this question, knowing the answer to this question? If we think about rehabilitation, like when a person is subject, there is kind of uh, fractures in bones, in biomedical engineering, an implant is used, a metallic part is inserted into bone to try to restore function totally or partially. Now, totally is difficult to accomplish, but I mean partial restoration of function so that a person can go on with his life. Now, the, the answer to this question is very important to know whether bone is loaded in compression, tension, or bending, because when you insert the implant into the bone, the, there are forces transmitted from the implant to bone, and you need to align these forces and to make they're compatible with the loading environment of bone. Suppose that bone is uh, excellent in a certain state and weak in another. So if you subject it to that weak state, it causes cause fractures. Now, the answer to this question, whether bone is loaded in compression, tension, or bending, is unknown to scientists and engineers for more than 100 years. For more than 100 years, people th thought about this question, and there is no answer in modern engineering. Now, if we go to the Noble Quran, the last revelation of Allah God to people, Allah teaches us the answer in two verses from the Quran. By pondering upon only two verses, we can know the answer to this question that people couldn't answer for hundred of years. For hundred years. Now, if we think and ponder upon verse number fourteen of chapter fifty-five of the Noble Quran, where the Almighty states. Allah God created humans from a sandy clay like that of pottery. So the Almighty teaches us from the Noble Quran that He created humans from clay like that used in pottery, meaning that your human bones should exhibit the response of the ceramic material. So Allah Almighty teaches us that your bones are a ceramic material. Now, if we subject a small piece of bone to forces, and examine the stress strain curve or the force assessment curve, the response of this small piece of bone, we find a perfect match between it and a, between a ceramic material. So, glory be to Allah God Almighty, your bone is a ceramic material as stated in the Rabbi Quran. Now, a ceramic material can be loaded in compression, tension, or bending. So, which of these states? Allah God Almighty gives us the answer in the Rabbi Quran, chapter 95, verse 4, which states, Allah and God created humans in an optimal form. So the Almighty teaches us that He created humans in optimal form, meaning in optimal specifications for the functioning of the human body. Now with regards to bone, this means that your bones can handle maximum forces without fracturing. And for ceramic material to handle maximum forces, there is only one state that satisfies this requirement, which is the state of compression. So, from these two verses, we can conclude that your bones behave as ceramic material and they must be loaded in a pure compressive environment. So, the Almighty teaches us that your bones 
are loaded in a pure, compressive environment. So the answer to the question that people couldn't answer for 100 years, Allah teaches us in two verses from the Lord of the Quran that your bones are loaded in a pure, compressive environment. Now to demonstrate this, I did a, a, a computer model for uh, part of the skeletal system, the mandible, which is the human lower jaw. As you can see, the mandible, I transformed the real mandible into a computer model, and this model is then subjected to forces encountered during chewing mastication, and the computer can give you an indication of the state of stress, whether it's compressive, tensile stresses, or bending. Now the computer gave the answer that dominant compressive state of stress exists within the mandible. So glory be to Allah, there is a perfect match between the conclusions of the Rabbi Quran and the computer modeling. So we see, brothers and sisters, the beauty of the Rabbi Quran and the knowledge that Allah the Almighty teaches who goes to the Rabbi Quran and put it upon his verses. And we should use this in striving to make the way of the care supreme. Because the non-Muslims, they love knowledge. So when they see that the Rabbi Quran teaches them engineering in an optimal way, they will be attracted to the Quran and that will be a way for them to be guided to the path of Allah God Almighty. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www.quran-mirka.com that is www.quran-mirka.com and you can email me at zquran.com and may the peace and bliss of Allah be upon you all.